from the Broadview Center in Albany, New York. It is time for tonight's America East Conference matchup between the NJIT Highlanders and the UAlbany Great Danes in what should be a good matchup. Hi, everybody. Michael Johnson, Jr. here alongside Brian Mariano, better known as the closer. And, Brian, you know, you Albany winless in the month of February, right? They've lost three straight, but for NJIT, you couldn't be playing better basketball with back-to-back -back wins here at home against the top two teams in the conference. Yeah, two teams going in either direction, a hot team and a team looking for a win, and both of them in the American East Conference standings, as we take a look at those, looking for a bit of traction to move up. You're trying to avoid that bottom seed and, and not being able to participate in the conference tournament. That win tonight will go a long way for both of these teams. So pivotal in these teams. 100%. And we take a look at some of these impact players. The guy that's been making them go back to back great games is the freshman, Tariq Francis. Francis has been really hot as of late. You can see what he can do shoot the ball from the outside. 26 against UMass Lowell, 31 against Vermont, a sixth time rookie of the week in the American East. Should have a big game for him tonight. Got a nice matchup in their first matchup at NJIT January the 6th. Are you Albany on the flip side? The guy that makes them tick on offense, Special Thomas. Yeah, you're going to need Thomas to do it kind of all tonight. Get the ball into the paint, shoot the ball, as you see here from the outside. But he conditioned two, nine assists last time against Bingham. Ten. He'll have to have a big night if you all, but he's going to come out with a win. Yes, you will. One of the best scoring guards in the country can pass it at a high level as well. And uh, Brian, let's take a look here tonight at your keys for tonight's game. You look at NJIT and they want to get the ball into the paint. You, you don't have Jonathan Beagle, so you want to work the ball into the paint, kind of dish it out if you're NJIT. And then you want to run the offense through Francis. You look at those numbers and how well he can score. It's going to go through him. He's going to want to get paint touches dribbling or passing in and then kicking out. If you're UAlbany, you want to get out and run. Get one stop, get out, run, get the ball in transition. That's going to be really where they're going to be in a good mode offensively. And get the glass. You want to get that rebounding battle really close close if you're UAlbany. If that's close at the end of the game, UAlbany's probably going to be in it. And just about set for uh, tip-off here at the Broadview Center. As a couple of news and notes coming in here, Brian. Uh, obviously, NJIT without Kelda Graff. He's mm -hmm. been out. He was announced out for the season last Thursday, a week ago, by head coach Grant Billmeyer in his first season. And no Marcus Jackson until presumably March, if they make it to the tournament, 